Yes, let's talk about something else. Okay, Lion was saying that like, the horse what dying. About the horse dying. That's great, Robin. No, it was being written. How do you know it's I saw the writing. Oh, that's your writing. You're coming in. You're like, I can get a top of the top. Wait, is she going to be the horse? No. Oh, wait, it's going to be the one. I'm looking at her like, how am I going to cover this up? Who was it? <laughs> Mother? Yes? I'm away now. Where are you going? The vineyard. Wait a minute. What is it? Take something to eat. Leave it, Mother. I'll eat grapes. Give me the knife. The knife? To cut. The knife, the knife. Damn the knife. Damn all knives. Damn the devil who created knives. Enough that, Mother. Anything that can pierce and cut a man's body, a glorious man, an angel, his mouth like a flower, who goes out to his vines or his olives, to look after them, to care for them, because they are his passed down to him from his fathers. Mother, that's enough. And he never comes back, or he comes back only to be laid out with a heart. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> you think so? Such things happen. Two days ago, they brought in my neighbor's son with both his arms gone. The machine had... Slice them off. Raphael? Yes. And now what's he good for? Often I think your son and my son are better where they are. Sleeping, resting, safe from being made useless. Enough of that. Fancy thoughts can't help. There's no mending what's happened. Ah! Aye. <laughs> and your son? Okay, take it away. We're at Leonardo's house. Hush, baby, hush. Sing of the great horse that wouldn't drink the water. The water ran black under the boughs. Under the bridge it stopped and sang. Who knows, my darling, the pain of the water that draws its long tail through the long green room. Sleep, my blossom, the horse will not drink. Sleep, little rose, the horse is weeping. Its hooves are hurt, its mane is frozen, and in its eye, a dagger of silver. Down by the river, down by the river, blood is pouring, stronger than the water. Sleep, my blossom, the horse will not drink. Sleep, little rose, the horse is weeping. He will not touch the edge of the river. He will not. That's what my son would have been if he were still alive. He'd be alive, warm, the true man that he was. If men hadn't invented knives. Don't dwell on it every minute. Put your hand on your heart. Thursday, then yes. Thursday it is. From here, the church is quite away. So we'll go with the bride and groom in a car. Everybody else can make doing carts or on horseback or whatever. Agreed. Father, tell, uh, tell him to come in. I shall be a very happy man if you like her. <laughs> Come, are you happy? Yes, Senora. Don't be so solemn. After all, she's going to be your mother. I'm happy. When I say yes, I say it because I need it. Of course. Look at me. She's my wife all over again. Is she? Such a lovely expression. You know what getting married is, child. I do. A man, children, and as for the rest, a wall is two feet thick. Who needs more?